Hello crafty friends and welcome to another background busting video. Today we're going to look at using my yellows, pinks, rose gold, browns, warm colour scraps, things I've got left over from mixed media projects. If you want to see what I did with my purples and violets and my bluey greens then check out the previous two videos in this little mini series. So I've got five linen textured card blanks, five linen textured stitched rectangle panels. So I've sorted these out into my larger scraps and my smaller scraps and what I'm going to do today is use my stitched rectangle dies, one of which I use to cut the panels and cut lots of rectangles from them because I've got these large bits. I think I might be making slightly less clean cards than usual. There'll be less white space, but I quite fancy using up some big chunks of these. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna do some die cutting, cut out some rectangles and then come back and show you what I've got to work with. Right, I've got my stitched rectangles ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna stick these down. I think this background, this shimmery copper embossed piece I made in my, I think it was 16 ways to use shimmer sprays video. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link in the video description. I just want to get that fairly central. Just make sure it's straight. And I'll press that down with a bit of nonstick paper. This one is the same size as this. But I want to use it at a jaunty angle, something like that, swinging in from above. Squirt a little bit more glue under there, just to make sure the whole thing's in contact. I didn't quite get that right. I can take a damp baby wipe and just carefully wipe that glue off. And I'll let that dry for a minute or two and then cut off the overhang. This background I think I made in my gel printing 101 series so again I'll leave a link to that if you want to have a watch. These two were definitely part of the shimmer spray video. I'm using high tack glue to stick these down because it really grabs the paper and holds everything in place while it dries. I'm going to put a little pencil mark here to mark the middle of my bit of paper and I'm going to measure this. This is three centimetres so I want to stick it one and a half centimetres below so that's the line where the bottom of that is going to be and that should be in the middle. When it comes to card making maths I always do the maths in metric because I cannot for the life of me get imperial measurements right in my head. So there we go I'm liking that and I'm going to take the same approach with this one because I've got five I've got an odd number so that is two centimetres, so I want it to go one centimetre beneath. So this one is dried now, more or less, or enough to manhandle. So I will pop it in my guillotine. That's the kind of thing I was after. So that's the basics, the basis for the rest of the card. When I'm doing something like this, I'm only thinking of the step that I'm doing, trusting in the fact that I've got dies and stamps that will work with the designs that I come up with. So I'm thinking this one and this one will get some kind of leafy branchy die on the front. This one, I'm wondering about die cutting into it. I know it's two layers thick now, but I think that's fine. This one I'm thinking keeping it simple and adding a die cut sentiment. I'm not sure about this one yet. So I've got these dies for these two, some fairly big leaf branch things. This one I'm going to do in white. This one, hmm, not sure, maybe copper. So I've got this background that I made. Again, that's a shimmer spray video. I think that was smushing. For this one I've put some little bits of 
foam tape on the back. Well, it's not foam tape. These are sticks to foam squares, but they're very thin, about a millimetre thick. So it just gives a little bit of lift, but still keeps it within postal range for regular letters. Just need a tiny little bit of glue just to go under the bottom here. This one is much more delicate. So I'll put some dots on the back of the little round leafy berry things. I'm not sure if this is going to stand out. I should have looked before I put the glue on. Actually, I think that's fine. So there was no way I was going to be able to get foam on the back of that unless I die cut it out with foam already on it. So that can go flat on there like that. And I think that's fine. I rather like that. So that's those two with the next steps done. So I'm thinking with this one, I've got this little heart die. I want to die cut a heart out of both of these. Just get it aligned off centre, but centering the heart. I'll pop that in place with washi and run that through my cuttle bug. So that's done what I wanted it to do is cut out a nice heart. So for this one, I want to add a stitched rectangle frame in white cardstock. And I am going to stick this down to some double sided adhesive foam and die cut from that. So I've got my foam backed frame. It can be a little bit tricky to get foam back frames like this to stay rectangular because they kind of stretch as they come out of the die and they're wibbly wobbly. But I find some gentle encouragement with a T-square ruler on all sides before you press it down can get things more or less square at the corners. So I'm happy with that. I've got this bit of foliage and I was wondering about cutting it from this smushed bit of paper or maybe this bit here with the copper on it. So I'm going to do both and see which one I prefer. So I've got that one. I'm not sure it stands out enough. Got that one that does stand out. I think we might go with that one, but I do want to add a little bit of variation around the edges of the leaves. I think I'll pop this back in here just to help me hold it still. Let's have a look. Maybe some spiced marmalade, distress oxide, just around the edges. Yeah, I think that works. I think I only need to add a little bit of glue, maybe there to hold it down and then where it's in contact and a little bit maybe up there, maybe a, a rolled up glue dot up there, I think. So I've got some tiny little glue dots here. I can roll that into a little glue sausage as opposed to a glue dot and pop that up there behind that top leaf. That should hopefully be hidden. And I will spread out some high tack glue and dip the whole thing in because it's not going to hurt. Make sure the edges get some glue and then pop that there. I think that's a slightly different angle to how I had it before, but that's okay. For this card, I'm going to run the sentiment along that edge and it's going to say well done. And I'm going to cut it from this copper glitter cardstock that I've got scraps of. It's quite a thick cardstock this one so I don't feel like it needs any foam underneath it. I need to cut an extra L and an extra E. I'll add a little bit of washi just to keep these together so they don't wander around while I'm die cutting. So it should be fairly easy to get these straight because I've got a straight edge to line them up against. The stitching there I've used a star punch to punch out a star because I think stars always go well with well done or congratulations and I'm going to add that at the end there and I think that will do for that one. Right I'm going to take a break now while I let my brain percolate on the next steps for these four. 
Right, I'm ready to proceed with these cards. So I took some of the black spritzed paper and I cut out this thank you. And I'm going to add this to the card, but I'm not going to add this to the card. I'm going to use this to help me line up the letters. They're so tiny and going to be really fiddly to pick up and glue down. I think it'll be best, actually, if I just do this by eye rather than using that as a guide because they're so small. But I will put the K down over here. The same distance from this edge to this edge, roughly. And that will help me space out the other letters. I think that's on straight and stands out well enough. Now I've got a vellum doily that I'm going to stick behind my heart. This is the heart that I cut from the other card and that can go over here to the left where there aren't many branches on this thing. And I think that'll do. Not sure it needs any Nouveau drops, but I'll put it to one side and uh, come back to it in a minute. For this card, I've die cut a best wishes out of this card again. So I think that is done for now. Similarly, I've cut a hello using this die here. And I'm going to add the word to this bottom panel there's a perfect size gap right there and it doesn't stand out too much but it's still there i think that works for this last one i've used a lots of love die to die cut out words from copper glitter cardstock again and i've also cut it from black cardstock because i want to give this a little bit of a drop shadow Let's press that down with a bit of non-stick paper. The glue will dry clear, so there's a few bits showing, but it'll be fine. And I'll get some glue on the back of that and add it over the aperture that I cut in this panel. As a finishing touch on this one, I'll use some circles that I cut with this die from this card. So I was thinking something like this, just a little corner arrangement to almost echo what's going on up here. So I like that. I like this little corner bit here, but the attention is still very much drawn to this area here because of the black drop shadow and the white heart shape. As I said earlier, I think this one is finished. I don't think that needs any more. And I think this one is done too. I'm kind of tempted though to maybe cover this whole die cut in glossy accents so it's shiny but I'll have a think about that but I don't think that needs anything else adding to it this one I'm just gonna add a few morning dew nouveau drops these come out cloudy but they will dry clear so just a smattering around like that I think so they'll almost be invisible I think by the time they've dried uh, but they'll be there and they'll catch the light as you tilt the card. And then we've got this last one. And again, because these are so lovely and round, the leaves or berries or whatever they're meant to be, I'm going to add a Morning Dew Nouveau drop to each one. Right, I think that'll do for now. I'm going to wait a little while to let the Nouveau drops, Morning Dew drops, set and go clear and then I'll take some photos for you and you're probably looking at them right now. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video and this little mini series on busting your backgrounds. I hope it's given you lots of ideas, lots of card design ideas, lots of technique ideas. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that stuff and I'll see you back here very soon for my next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.